Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll show you how to change a hot plate element in an electric cooker. If your element has failed, it may partially heat or not heat at all, so you'll need to replace it. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing the four screws that hold it in place. Having carefully removed the screw, I also have to remove the rivet on this particular model so I can lift the hob top off. You can use long nails or you can grab a box cutter if you have one of these on your model. Very carefully just ease it between the hob top and the rivet itself. And once you have a big enough gap, you can get a less sharp object in between and then ease it away from the hob top. With all four screws and rivets removed, I can now lift up the hob top, but being careful as I do, as the warning light is still attached underneath. This simply slips out, and then I can remove the hob top completely. Now this is the hot plate element that we'll be replacing. If you're unsure whether your element has failed, you may see some damage inside the element itself. Or it may be a case that the cutout, this part across the top, has tripped. Either way, you'll need to replace the element. What I can see here is that the electrical connections to the element are very complicated. So what I'm going to do is just take a photograph of the electrical connections for my own reference, so that when I put the electrical connections onto the new element, I know exactly where they're going. Now some of these electrical connections can be quite stiff, so if required, you can use a flat-headed screwdriver to just ease them very gently off. With all the electrical connections disconnected, I'm now going to lift off the element. Now what I'll have to do is because the new element is not supplied with these brackets, you have to remove those from the old element before replacing them onto the new element. It's worth pointing out there are numbers around the outside of the element which indicate the various different holes or screw holes for these brackets to go in. Here we can see that they have one at 63 and one at 27. And looking at the new element, I can see that both 27 and 63 are already prepared. So I'll remove these two brackets and place them on the new element. With both of those in place, you can then put the element back onto the brackets. Before using your photograph to reconnect the electrical connections. Now, 
Now, as this element is a compatible element, there is a slight difference in where the black lead connects onto the electrical connector. If we have a look at the element on the right hand side, you can see that the black is linked up with the end of the element. So on our new one, you can see the end of the element comes through to this connection here, which means that the black lead should be connected to this connector. Once all the electrical connections are in position, you can refit the top of your hob, making sure that the warning light goes back into its position. So there we have it, one new hot plate element fitted to this electric cooker. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.